Okay, welcome everyone to the Otherverse and RLC tutorials that I have been doing. Uh, today I am going to walk you through the World Texture Editor and explain it to you. Now I actually have in here three props, uh, which is the two walls that I have used and also this beautiful little aeroplane that I've placed in here. These these are put in here for a reason because I'm going to show you that the world editor has nothing to do with the prop editor. So what we need to do is open our world texture editor. So we drop down and select world texture editor. Now this does look a little scary so to speak when it first opens up because it's very confronting, just like anything, when you don't know what you're doing or dealing with. But this is just a simple breakdown. This button here is for scaling. This scales the textures so that you can either make them larger, you can make them smaller, uh, you can make the pattern more frequent, so it's like the pattern's a lot smaller, which means that there's more more tiles in one area. Um, or uh, you can make them larger so there is less. This is something that you don't need to worry about. This associates with the scaling option within here. Okay. Oh, everyone can see I am using a crappy Toshiba. Um, the other thing that you will use is it's pretty standard for any paint program that you have ever used. Uh, even the old paint program that was in the accessories. This is your eyedropper. Now your eyedropper selects a texture, which these are classed as textures for Otherverse, and it saves you from going through this list because once you open this up, as you will see, there is a lot of selections to scroll through. So it's like a shortcut, shortcut way of getting everything done. Okay, now uh, your fill texture. The one thing with the fill texture that I will show you is that any texture that is the same will fill throughout the Zabby. So if you have decided that you have the same carpet on here that you decided to place in your walls on your other room, then all of a sudden you wanted pink walls in the room. If you use your fill texture, on the walls, because it is the same texture as somewhere else, it will also alter the appearance of that texture. It will change it. Now, the paintbrush lets us do the finer detailing. Also, it allows us to change specific sections rather than uh, using the fill texture to change everything. It allows us to change certain pieces around the place. Now, the tick is how we save our editing. Now, by saving our editing, we, we are getting other verse to recognize that these are the textures we want our Zabby to be like and appear to us as this when we log in to our Zabbies. The undo feature, can uh, there is two of them, but this one will take you back step by step. I am going to show you what each one of these does. The undo all is the session that you have done at the present time. If you don't want to change anything and leave your textures the way they were, you undo all. And that will go back to say if you had black walls and pink carpet, it will leave it at that instead of having orange, green, and blue everywhere. Our beautiful default bomber. This this will change the appearance once you have edited your world textures back to the default texturing that you can see here. But I will show you everything in this. So first of all, what we are going to do is we're going to change our carpet. Now, uh, we're going to select a different color carpet. So let's just say we'll go with a, a gothic theme. There we go. So what we are going to do is we are going to select our carpet texture that we like, which we're going to just stick with black for demonstration purposes. 
Now, if we select our paintbrush, as you can see, this will change certain areas of where we click. Okay? Now, with this, say we've changed our mind. Okay? So we're going to undo. Now, by clicking the undo, as you can see, it takes back step by step of what we have done. So if we put a black here, a black there, and all of a sudden we've hit there, we click undo. And it will take us, it will take that back and leave that texture there. But what we are going to do is with this carpet we are going to fill it. So we are going to change it all to black. Which is a lot easier and a lot quicker. Uh, once you get used to using the texture editor, you will be fine. Okay, um, Okay. so now what we are going to do is stick to, say, the blue. We'll, we'll stick to a blue color because that's next on the list. But we can stick to blue or we can stick to man, anything really, but we'll stick to blue. So what we are going to do is we are going to fill the area up here near the fireplace. Okay, this looks like it's going well. All right, we filled this. Now we just need to change this area here. Now, when I fill this area, you'll notice that every texture that is the same as the area I have just clicked has changed color. So now our detail on our walls is blue. Now we don't really want that. So what we want to do is we want to undo. Once we undo, it goes back to our textures as they were. So for this area, for us to change it, we need our paintbrush. Now, I'm only going to do a little bit here for the purposes of the demonstration. So what we do is we just click and we change certain little areas as to where we click. So once we've, once we've had the time to go all the way through and adjust these textures for the appearance of being blue okay that will that area will be blue well there's a plane now what we are going to do is change our wall color so say we're going for a marble color now uh, for Gothic, we're mostly choosing dark colors, which we don't actually have to, but we'll, we'll just go for black. Now, even though it says floor, you don't have to use it for a floor. It is the texture that it suggests it to be. So what we are going to do, as before, we are going to fill. So what we want to do is we will fill say we'll fill the walls here. So this has changed everything that is the same texture to black. Now we can go down here. Alright, we'll just use a different color. I'm just going to start grabbing blindly. Okay, as you can see the wood that was the same texture here has changed to the green. Now the fireplaces are very different because they have they are a 3D object just the same as everything else. So if we use our paintbrush and face the fireplace, we can change the texture within here. Now even though this looks done, we do actually need to go in here and change this area. So now that we know that the brickwork that is on here is not the same as anywhere else, we can just click the fill feature and it will fill anything that has that pattern or texture. So now what we are going to do is just pick another one so this one looks good. There we are. So what we have done here is we have edited the world textures. Okay, we have put carpet in, we have changed the color of the walls with the exception of these walls that are props. And we have edited our world textures. So what we want to do is we want to save. So we need to click the green button. 
On saving changes, we are going to get a load up screen. Now, if all goes well, the game won't crash, which I'm hoping that it doesn't because it's done it to me the past six times that I have actually tried to do this tutorial. This is the game recognizing that you have adjusted the textures. As you can see through this area, through the door here, the textures are still the same because we haven't done anything in that area. Okay, so as we are in here, what we are going to do is I will show you what the undo feature, undo all for the session. Okay, and so we're going to pick something completely different. Let's pick a trim. Now, with the trim, it can be anything at the moment because it really doesn't matter what we're doing because we're not going to save it. So let's just go with this and click that as well. Okay, so say this is what we have come up with. We're experimenting and it's just something that we don't really feel like it's fitting with us right now. So what we are going to do is we are going to undo all. So we've got undo all changes made to this session. So that only, this only applies to us opening the world texture editor and editing what we have just done. So by clicking OK, we go back to our green, black and blue that we have and our fireplace is still the same looking marvelous. Okay. Now this here is very basic. Now with detailing as I was explaining to you, if you want to change something, so say along here we need to fix this blue area on the carpet. What we are going to do is we are going to take our eyedropper See how we have the texture that is the exact same as the carpet on the top. We will use our paintbrush and we will click the black here which will allow us to grab the texture quicker and faster and allow us to do this in a quicker way. Now you don't panic too much if this takes you ages. I've been doing this sort of decorating for quite some time, so it's it's not unfamiliar to me to be fixing changes quickly and moving at a pace that allows me to move. At the moment, I'm a little bit laggy, but we're all good. Okay, now see here on the blue... I've selected something that was on the green. Now there's two ways of doing this. We can use our undo button or we can use our eyedropper. Oh. This is what lag does to you, mind you. And we can change that back. So what we want to do now is above all else so we've saved changes to everything, we're just going to pretend that we have. Okay, we've saved changes, we don't actually like the idea of having this color theme. We want to start from scratch. Now, texture bombing is something that I do not recommend if you are not entirely certain that you only want a few. If you want a few things changed, use this to adjust them but only texture bomb if you want to start from scratch. That's just, a, that's just a hint because this is what texture bombing does. We're going to bomb this place. So it is going to reset to default. So we're going to click OK. Now this is going to adjust the appearance of the Zabby to the default appearance before we start editing. Now as you are going to see, upon loading back in, the plane and the walls are still going to be there. Now we get this beautiful little flashing session. It's great. Because the world texture editor has nothing to do with the props that are in the property. So if in the event that you do not want to have these props in there, you would have to go into your prop list. So we go into prop editor. And then we would drop our list down. Now after your 
after your zabby is fully decorated you will have obviously a lot more props but right now we're going to right click and we are going to delete now we can delete from prop list and that is probably the quickest way to delete every single prop within your zabby if you want to start from scratch but just be very careful I hope this has helped with your walkthrough for the world texture editor and I hope you've enjoyed uh, enjoyed it if there is any questions please feel free to ask me and I will attempt to find out what the answers are and once I do I will upload another video thank you for joining us and I hope you've had fun bye